video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. They have a huge variety up on their website, including the new battle style set. So definitely check out the website and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. How wonderful is that? Even uh, yeah, for the stuff like uh, Reshazard codes, Mew Mew codes, uh, Luke Metal codes, Eternus codes, Zacian codes, League Battle decks, you name it. Be sure to check out the website. It's awesome. Also, check out uh, cardmarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell uh, cards to people all across Europe, which is actually very wonderful. And you can uh, yeah, just go on the website by clicking that link, the affiliated link in the description. You're going to be helping me out a ton. Anyhow, uh, without further ado, let's just get this video started. I'm already hyped up. Hopefully, you guys are hyped as well. Peace. What's up everybody, it's Zabdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. It's actually a live stream so it's gonna be awesome. We are playing Eternus, so, uh, there's already 23 people in here and we haven't even started. We are playing the Absolum Cup today and our first round is already up. We're gonna be checking in and we are gonna be up against Victini V Max. Interesting matchup, hopefully we'll be able to go first uh, because otherwise this Victinis might just overrun us but we'll see how it goes. We are also playing like a couple of Galarian Zig Zagoons in here. Yeah, we already uh, checked in here, so it's gonna be awesome. The round will start instantly. That's how we love to see it here. This is uh, already eight likes. Thank you very much for everybody that's in here. And also for the subscriber count, I'm actually gonna be putting it uh, on the uh, screen once again because our sub count is almost there. I guarantee you, we are very close of reaching the, no the magical number 30,000. So uh, just gonna be putting it on the screen. Also, we're gonna boost our karma by uh, getting some codes. G yeah, we're gonna be giving away some codes today. Hopefully you guys are in the mood for some codes. To start off, we're actually gonna be giving away um, a classical <laughs> battle styles pack, just because we can. So let's see here. Uh, TCGO code, giving it away instantly, boosting our karma. There we go. So let's just get this adventure started. It's Monday. <laughs> I'm dying to play all night to grind through uh, 2000 uh, for that full art. Okay, interesting. Lots of people in here. We have Gundu Gundu. I wonder if this opponent will check in. He still has a little bit of time. He has seven minutes to check in. We already checked in and we are up against Victini V Max with Mewtwo. Hopefully he starts with Mewtwo because we are actually uh, able to, to strike huge damage. I'm actually going to be showcasing my list right now. Uh, the opponent still needs to add us anyhow. So uh, we have Gundu Gundu in here, Chad Baby, Juicy Make J. We have Kenny B as always, Thomas Freep, uh, PRG Edits. Um, Zarigon and Nelson as Camilla. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So thanks for being here. We are very close of reaching 30,000 subscribers. There's gonna be 12 hour live stream to celebrate that opening packs. Uh, yeah, giving away a lot of stuff, Q and A's, flashback moments, it's gonna be huge. For now, we are waiting for the opponent to add us. And uh, yeah, he has checked in. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see if Victini V Max is going to be destroying us or if our Eternatus list will be sufficient. So uh, let's see here, Eternatus V freaking Max. Yeah, it's the one with the team challenge back box. That's something I uh, noticed down. So yeah, we are playing some Galarian zigzags. That's actually very good in this matchup. So let's see if we're gonna be able to go first or second. This is best of one. So if we don't make it, don't be mad. We are just playing for fun. And uh, we're gonna see, we're actually gonna get that hand block instantly. So uh, the opponent is not able to see our hand. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be probably one of the last times we're playing Eternatus, just because Galarian Zapdos and Shilling Rain will actually destroy it. And uh, there's also a Avery and uh, more cards. So uh, yeah, we won the coin flip pretty damn nice. I think in this specific case, I want to go first. Yeah, so we can evolve our Eternatus. That's what we want to do here. That's how we have it. So we have our Eternatus. I'm very glad we have that. Dude, I've been playing Dragapult Urshifu. It's been the most fun I've had with a deck since I've been playing. Wow, great to see. <laughs> Pika Mom, uh, thanks for uh, letting everybody know. Don't forget to leave a like. <laughs> that's how it is. We are luckily enough going first against uh, this matchup. So that's nice. Uh, it's best of one. So we'll see how it goes. We are instantly have this. So we're going to be attaching over here. Uh, is this guy playing some ropes? He is playing some ropes. 
Is he playing Galarian Zigzagoon though? Let's see here. He has Victinis, he has Mewtwo's, Cramorant, Heatran, Volcanion, no Zigzagoon. So I think this is just fine as it is. Yeah, this is fine as it is. For now. He's never gonna be able to dunk us. Which is totally awesome. He could go for like a Double Blaze GX for all we know. <laughs> Okay, another Victini popping up right now. So uh, this is an interesting matchup. Interesting matchup for sure. We already got that first turn attachment, which is nice. There's a Welder coming onto a Victini. Okay. We're gonna try our best, fellas. We are gonna try our best. That's all we can do, to be honest. Nothing much going on. Nothing much going on. Okay. He's also playing a Stealthy Hood. I don't know why he's playing that Stealthy Hood for which specific matchup. He also has access to uh, other cards, ropes, switches. He has a Cricket Tune of all things. Also the Mew, which seems to be like a staple, uh, like in almost every uh, non eternalist deck, just to protect himself from the G Max Rapid Flow. There's the Cherish Ball instantly coming down. There's the Charizard. Yeah, the Charizard, a Heatran as well. There's a Quick Ball coming along as well. Good luck today. Thank you, Sophie, for the kind words. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. There's a Volcanion. He's gonna go for a uh, crazy Volk place. There's a Crobat for a couple of cards. Anyone is looking for budget Eternus in real life, I recommend a four line of Pierce. Oh, interesting. All right, folks, this is going to be interesting for sure. <laughs> no, you are 16 minutes late. No. Yeah, opponent probably will try to find his stuff. Hopefully we'll make uh, the power plant stick because that means Heatran is not going to be doing anything at all. He's accelerating energies to his uh, Victinis on the bench. So those are little threats here and there. Okay, first off, we're gonna see what he has to give us. What will he give us? Is he playing Fan of Waves? He's not playing Fan of Waves. Interesting. Okay, he gives us the Victini. We already have Eternatus. Let's go for the Weak Guard. Here comes Crobat. Okay, there's a Crushing Hammer. Come on, man! It fails, of course. Happens every time though. Quick ball. Let's get rid of this card. Getting ourselves classical Spiritune. Or should we get another Eternus? Ah, I don't know how to feel about this. Galarian Zigzag. Let's see here. 30 damage. That means maybe a Zigzag ping is not a bad idea, to be honest. Although Spiritomb in the late game can accumulate lots of damage output, we probably will draw into a Zigzagoon anyhow, so let's just go for this. Spiritomb ping. Ta-ta! And uh, yeah, let's go for research. Let's hope this works out. Okay, this one. There's a great ball going along. Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon ping activation here. Communication. This goes back. Eveltal is a nice pivot though. So we are slapping, let's say we have six Pokemon in play. That's 180. We have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's already nice as it is. It's already nice as it is. Okay, what else? Really wanted to be finding that power plan here, but. It's gonna be tricky. It's going to be tricky. More Zigzagoons. Eveltal has a nice pivot. It's not bad. Okay, let's see here. 30 damage, 60 damage, 90 damage, 120, uh, 150, 180. That's, I think that's all we need, to be honest. Dreadang! And the Victini goes down. Okay, let's see. What do we get? A hammer. What else? Quick ball, okay. Now that we da have that figured out, the zigzag zig zig goon was insane. All right, all right, all right, all right. 
What are they gonna do now? Victini and Sensus Scorch are always such a problem for me, but thank God. Well, they're leaving next rotation. Yeah, lots of Welder decks still being played. Okay. I really loved that escape rope. Definitely helped me out a ton. There's a Marnie play. Okay. Putting us down to a low hand size, is he? What do we get? Interesting things, that's for sure. Is there a specific Pokemon trainer energy <laughs> ratio you recommend? Um, I would say about 12 energies at max for uh, most decks, not fire decks. Uh, as for Pokemon, I think between 15 and 20 is a good number. Here comes the Danny GX. Is getting rid of a lot of stuff here. You got dunked in your first round. Yeah, best of one, so sad. Best of one is super sad. I have to agree. There's a Cherish Bowl coming along. Okay, what is in here? Hi from Thailand. So people from all, all over the world uh, watching again. I appreciate every single one of you. The uh, subscribe count is still going up. So that's awesome. There's Mewtwo. The Mewtwo has a lot of HP. There's a... F hey, he's just poking around with this fella. Okay. Okay, okay. So we go for this. Attachment on the Eternatus. Don't think we'll Marnie here. I think we just dig for everything that we need. Research... Okay, building spite in the house. Great bull time. Another one of these. So Galarian Zigzagoon is uh, showing up in many ways. Zigzag, activate. Uh, I think right now if we knock this guy out, we only need to get this guy. I don't think he's playing big charms, right? He's not playing big charms, but let's see here. 270, if we put it to 240, it will not matter at all. Yeah, these pings are kind of irrelevant, although this guy is able to yeah, not do nothing at all. Maybe the Victini. Yeah, I think we're definitely gonna go after the Mewtwo, that's for sure. Uh, let's see here. We can empty our hand a little bit. Switch. Switch again. Yeah, let's see here. Really want to be drawing the maximum amount of cards here. Is he playing Reset Stamp? Giant Heart, Stealthy Hood. He's not playing Stamp, but he is playing two Marnies. How many Marnies in this discard pal? Two Marnies, well. Well, 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 well. Let's get rid of this. Yes, okay. Let's see what we need to get. Let's go. Okay. Let's do this. Dread end activation. Cha -cha. Yo, almost 30k, yeah. Thanks Omnipoke for being here. Uh, I don't know if it's Joe or Jack watching, but you guys are also MVP in the Pokemon community. I really enjoyed the Omnipoke Online Play League. Very, very awesome series, and uh, there's gonna be something cool happening with that soon. Uh, what else can we say? There's a lot of PokeTubers that are actually uh, are really uh, supporting each other. We have, of course, the Slowpoke Wild, Tricky Jam. Everybody's like one big community. That's what we love here. Okay. What now? He's gonna go for Dedenne. We didn't find our power plant, which I found very hilarious. <laughs> very, very cool. I, I think you are uh, ex exceeded the 20k, I think. Omnipoke is also doing very good, but you also have like the, the good things going around, where you have uh, the capabilities of commentating on official games. That would have been awesome. I, I love doing that as well. 
they didn't have the opportunity just yet, but it would be awesome. Uh, Rohan, no thank you. I, I will make a discord uh, maybe later this year. T today we're uh, actually this year we're focusing on uh, growing the community. Okay, that's actually what happened here. Eternus! Well played. Let's do this. Dreaded! And the Eternus just overruns this fella. It's crazy. What happened to Omnipoke series? Yeah, uh, you'll, you'll hear that on the Omnipoke's channel very shortly. I'm not gonna say you anything. So uh, why are we playing Eternus? Because this is probably gonna be the one of the last times Eternus is good. Just because Galarian Zapdos slaps it in the face, we get stuff like... Uh, yeah, discard the changes. <laughs> this is uh, the list we're rocking with right now. Looks very solid, right? We have the weak guards for the fighting matchups. We have power plants shutting down stuff. We have a boss's orders. We have the rope. The rope was MVP. I have to uh, let you guys know that the rope was MVP. Still about 16 people playing, so uh, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> first? Am I standing first, really? Hmm. Okay, so the uh, escape rope was definitely MVP, and uh, everybody from all the world are, uh, from all over the world is watching. So it's gonna be nice seeing the last couple of days that Eternatus is, is good. So that PTC Joko that we gave away was pretty damn awesome. That gave us some extra uh, boost, <laughs> extra boost for uh, our karma. And hopefully, you guys are enjoying the streams. We're doing them more regularly since we're playing more tournaments over at um, play.limitlesstcg.com. Oh yeah, we have to. Uh, get rid of our hands <laughs> as you can see so this was the eternal list the only thing we this is just the giant beat stick right so what you do with this list is try to set yourself up with the eternals. there are four copies of the galarian zigzagoon in here just because you can hit numbers like 310 sometimes eternals uh needs to slap 310 because of the big charm onto stuff like adp onto stuff like uh for instance uh, you can also hit 310 against victini v max so that was nice no hiding dark energy we have four uh, three copies of switch and an escape rope Salutes from Peru. So Santiago Garcia Arure, Arure, I think I think I pronounced that correctly. Only three hammers because they are unreliable anyhow, but they do slow down specific matches. Definitely great against Pikaram. Also great uh, instantly at, like against Welder Dax. If you get one energy or get rid of one energy, then they cannot go for their crazy play of the Heatran GX. But on the other hand, if Power Plant sticks in play, they cannot go go for the Burning Road anyhow. Yeah, it turned into toast. Uh, so. Uh, we are gonna be playing this and maybe it's gonna be working out. I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of Rapid Strike Urshifus. We uh, play tested Victini, play tested Rapid Strike Urshifu, play tested Eternus. I, uh, I have not played Blown in a while, so I still don't know what I should play for Players Cup 4. If you guys have any ideas, be sure to let me know. And I was also this close of playing Lapras V Max today, so that was also very funky, right? Lapras VMAX, slapping huge damage, you know how it goes. Talonite X, so lots of Pokemon from the community joining in right now. Talonite X has a very crazy Twitter page with translations, be sure to check that out. We're gonna be using those, hopefully we can use those. We're definitely gonna be giving courtesy to Tal uh, Talonite X, but these translations are gonna be nice to make a top 10 or maybe top 20 best cards from Chilling Rain. And Chilling Rain will be a huge set, mark my words, more archetypes, more trainer cards, more VMAXs. The VMAX is gonna be uh, awesome. Yeah, we're gonna be playing Lapras VMAX definitely uh, at least uh, in one tournament uh, throughout the team up all the way to Battle Styles format. Don't know which one I should pick though. Don't know which one I should pick. And uh, yeah, people are still joining into this uh, live, live stream, so it's awesome. Well, first round we won. I actually have to put down the score. I know, I forgot. And while we wait, more people uh, just can uh, get, of course, into the trading card game. Yeah, definitely just get yourself some codes up over at potownstore.com. Use that coupon code ZAPDOSTCG. And wow, the sub count actually exploded a little bit. Then there uh, has been uh, more subs coming here. That's cool. We're, we are actually very close of reaching that number. That magical number. 30,000 subscribers. Yeah, good old Blown. Should we check out good old Blown? Let's see here. Crocephalon. I think it's called Crocephalon, right? Or Tempo's Art. Actually, Omnipoke was the the one that actually named Temposord, and Temposord saw so much play ever since that video. I don't know if that was the reason or people in Japan played it, but I actually saw it on Omnipoke's channel. Okay, what do we see? We have ourselves Temposord. There's a the Mew. There's a the two Cramorants. You snipe around. It's good. 
<laughs> yeah, the subs are growing like crazy. I remember, I think it was this summer where we had like 20, 25 ish thousand, and now like it's going on a rapid pace. And uh, I, I have to thank all of my uh, people that have been subscribed throughout the years because we've been posting videos almost yeah, every week, definitely every week for about 10 years. So I know we did a little break and we fell off the, the right track by making gaming videos. I don't know if you guys were interested in seeing gaming videos whatsoever, but I did make a, a yeah, Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke at one time. I, I think a lot of Poketubers try that out, uh, like playing the games as well. But uh, it doesn't get received as well as the DCG videos. Galarian Weezing and Eternatus stops your opponent Eternatus Dex and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're not gonna be playing Eternatus uh, with Galarian uh, Weezing. There is a new card coming though. So there's four people still playing. So the next round will start very, very shortly. And while we wait, I'm actually gonna try to get some more codes for you guys. I, I still have a lot of them available, but um, really need to be getting some. I'll let you just take three of these. Ta -ta. Yeah, some Cremorant. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Cremorant is awesome. It's pitch shots. It's amazing. And maybe some Shining Fates because you guys want to be pulling some Shinies, right? The Shinies are looking very awesome. And they still will be around for at least one year, which is totally awesome. So, uh, courtesy of BowdownStore.com. How to redeem codes, uh, you just, I'm actually gonna be showcasing that for new players. There's a lot of new players because of the crazy Paul, Logan Paul story. So uh, what do we see here is you just click on this card right here as the, the second to last emoji. Then you click here, redeem codes. And then uh, you type in the code and submit it. That's how it is, that's how easy it is. So uh, for now, while we wait, I'm gonna give you a Cremorant because Cremorant is life. Here we go. So, uh, TCGO code, we are giving you. Ta -ta 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 -ta. It's a Cramorant, so be the first to claim it, and uh, your life will be filled with the Shining Bird. It's gonna be an orange Cramorant. I remember Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. I read negative comments for your channels on those videos. Yeah, people were more fan of the TCG content. I understand that. I've been making videos since 2011. Uh, was second at nationals once, posted really great content, even like, uh, yeah, uh, I, I got inspired by Jaywitz and the Top Cut, so it's like a mix between those, which is pretty damn awesome, and then Jaywitz actually recommended uh, everyone to check out this after he uh, stopped using, uh, actually making profit videos, and uh, we started from the bottom, now we're here, that's the story, basically. Hello, uh, Adam Weiner and, uh, Weiner, and there's also uh, Samarta Jaya, I think I pronounced that correctly. So uh, yeah, long story short, I uh, was in a really bad format at once and I just decided to quit the game a little bit. Not entirely, but not like very competitively. So I did make videos for like, I think uh, a year and a half. And by that time I actually played down a lot of Pokemon games. We played Pokemon Snap, Pokemon TCG, the game. I didn't complete that. We played Liquid Crystal, it's a ROM hack. We also have, okay, the next round is up. We're gonna be checking in. Kaiser Scorch, <laughs> another Victini. Uh, Tool Jammer, I don't see. Okay, Flareon GX, Mewtwo. Let's hope he starts with a Mewtwo so we can bomb that for three prize cards. Yeah, it seems to be like the best plan of action here. So looks, looks, <laughs> we should have played Lapras, but on the other hand, they do have access to their Mewtwo. So we are up against Kaiser Scorch. You might think this guy is playing Etern, uh, uh, Santa Scorch, but nothing more is true. Yeah, we switched to daily content instead because TCG, you got me back in the game a while ago. Well, wow, that's nice to hear. I, I see a lot of people saying that. If you guys are a fan of the channel, by the way, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. Helps out the channel more than you'd possibly think. And it's easy to do. Just, uh, yeah, strangle strike or rapid strike. ka -cha! The hell out of that like button. And then we can make it to the magical number 100, which is the goal uh, for this live stream. It's going to be, hopefully, uh, a long live stream. <laughs> you are so cool. Stars, uh, my TS. Thanks for letting me know. So uh, the next round is here. We're up against the, the Kaiser Scorch. I know we need to take our deck Eternatus. Eternatus wheezing, nope. It's gonna be Eternatus, the straight one, straight build. We're gonna have the hand block. Here's the hand block. And uh, yeah, let's get this party started, folks. Let's get this party started. Okay, we lost the coin flip. We lost the coin flip. 
Okay, what can we do uh, with this? Let's just get our Eveltal up and running. Eveltal is good. Okay, let's see here. Opponent is playing four copies of balls. There's the Marnie, one of Marnie, no stamps whatsoever. So that's pretty damn nice. So uh, Victini and another Victini. So uh, looks like everybody's playing the same deck here. Okay, he started with Mewtwo, woo! Quick ball. So that's a tree prizer. Love that. Eating that one up for breakfast. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna be hitting 30k hopefully this weekend so we can uh, do that live stream already. Okay, what do we do in this scenario? Yeah, we need to slap down this. First of all, let's just scout out with great ball what we have to work with. So two returns, that's not too bad. Alright folks, Eternatus, Eternatus, uh, weak guard energy over here, because I think he's gonna bomb us, really think so, so we equipped, so we can power accelerator, I think that's not a bad idea, it's not a bad idea, two Eveltals, probably better than one, right, retreat, I think he's gonna bump us anyway, so we're not gonna go overly crazy with this. So we're just gonna go for Power Accelerator, just playing it nice and safely. There we go. Ta 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 ta! Okay. What now? What now? There's a t the Victini, the Victini in the house. Let's hope he whiffs on whatever he needs. <laughs> There's that switch card. Yeah, he's gonna bump us. That's bad. That is pretty damn bad. Okay, the win cons. You wanna see the win cons, right? Maybe we can make it, maybe we don't. Let's do this. Let's power plant. Maybe we can find a stamp as well. Could be pretty damn nice. Okay, here we have Eternatus V Max. At least we're safe from that Marcus here. Research activation. Okay, that's pretty weird. <laughs> okay, what to do about this? What to do about this? Don't know if he will have anything. Ah, this is a. This is not good. Definitely not good. Hammer. Yeah, folks, we are, have been in better situations than this one. Okay, it's time for Eveltal. Derail. <laughs> Ow, that was painful, man. That was painful. Yeah, you, you want to see my hands. I, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> You don't want to see my hands. You really don't. So, ladies and gentlemen. Ow. We got slapped by Victini. Really need to be finding our uh, resources right now. We can rope, but we, are, we will not. We will not rope. If we rope, we can attack with something else. Maybe wait it out. Either way. Mm -hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I'm actually gonna scout. I actually can make some room here. Ah, terrible, terrible, terrible. I think this panic mode deserves a research. <laughs> Love the background music. Thanks, everybody. So, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. It's crushing hammer time. Whoa. Okay. Get out of here. Spiritune. Galarian Zigzagoon. We're gonna get rid of this. We're gonna slap down a plant. We're gonna slap down a zigzag ping. Okay, what now? What now? I think communication and drawing more cards is better. Let's hope. Let's hope it is the case. Yeah, the bots have not appeared just yet. 
Let's go! Well. Well, 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 well. What do we see here? Where is it stamp? Attachment over here. A retreat! And this guy. Derail. Hopefully, uh, he will not have a good stuff in his hand right now. Building spite. We were one Pokemon short, by the way. Derail! Uh, okay, with Power Plant in play, let's just hope he doesn't have like the, the guts to just get this KO here. Okay, he instantly has the boss. What can we do? What can we do? Instantly having the boss. That is insane. Okay, he's getting himself ready. He is getting himself ready. And we are scared. Oh no, Eternus will go down here, so uh also getting rid of the power plant. What to do, ladies and gentlemen? What to do? We are in an awkward position, that's for sure. We need to find Pokemon to discard. Yeah, that's easy. This guy. Yeah, folks, we are in an awkward position. In an awkward position. Okay, first things first. I think we need to stamp him to one card. Then we need to find all of our resources. So I think I will just go for, I think there's another Crobat in our list, right? Yeah, cool. We attach here and uh, hopefully find Eternus VMAX. Okay, there is almost an Eternus VMAX here. Great ball. There is the Eternus VMAX, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Hammer time. It is Tails, unfortunately. Okay. 70 damage. That means this guy has 240. 240 freaking damage. We just try to go after this guy, I think. Research! Okay, that's enough damage, right? 240, it's all we need to do, right? That's cool. Zigzag pings. And this guy also goes down, so let's just go for this. Retreat! HRs in the freaking house. Building spite. That's all we can do, right? Stamp into one card. Stamping into one card. That's all we we could have done, right? <laughs> yeah, this is life, Stoppons. This is totally life. Okay. Let's see. Dying hard. Well. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We beat the Victini. Hand block removal. So the stamps do come in handy here. Give me that Mewtwo. Give me him now while he's fresh. Well played. Dreadant! Oh, I was scared a little bit. <laughs> Stamping to one card. So the stamps are legit insane. I'm gonna miss stamp. You guys gonna miss stamp as well? Who knows? We slapped down two Victinis here. Ooh boy, ooh boy. That is insane. <laughs> yes! Double victory. So I picked the right deck, I think. Picked the right deck for this tournament. Double victory. Let's just uh, edit that score instantly. 
The stab saver, yeah. Yeah, we actually needed to retreat into that Eveltal just to get make the math work for the uh, Dread End, so I'm glad that worked out. Very glad that worked out. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't ever miss any single video we are posting daily. Either we live stream or we actually post a daily video. And I still have a lot of good things uh, planned up. We're gonna be making a Gengar mini kill list. We're gonna be making a King Girl list. We're gonna be doing a lot of great stuff, that's for sure. Hey ho, that's what happened here. That's what happened. Eternatus slapping two Victinis. So power accelerator, very strong. Also in my opening hand, I did, you, you guys couldn't see, but I had research, but I, uh, yeah, uh, didn't play research even though i had the option to play a supporter boss or research i didn't play any of them because i had the access to power accelerator and that was uh the combination that won us the game hey that's cool and that uh, third uh third gear gaming i'm doing very good how about yourself <laughs> leslie ivan channel uh best rapper pokemon tcg player yeah, we're gonna have a. We're actually gonna be doing a, a rap. Will you stream on Twitch? No, I'm actually gonna stay uh, on YouTube for a little bit. Uh, I actually want to be getting used to all the live stream stuff. I do love uh, the platform YouTube by itself, and I do see a lot of potential on YouTube alone. So I'm not going to Twitch just yet. I, I cannot promise we're going to Twitch ever. I'm not gonna say that uh, we're never going to Twitch. I still don't. Uh, this I haven't decided just yet. Right now we're waiting for round three to start. I don't know how many rounds there are, by the way. I'm just gonna go with the flow, I guess. I'm just gonna go with the flow. 29,916 subscribers, that's insane. All of you guys make this channel happen. And uh, we are doing pretty well with Eternus. Let's see how what decks are have been played right now. Let's go to the standings. You guys can uh, just hop on with me, just because I share every single one of my information. Ta-ta! Okay, here we are, here we are. Let's see here. <laughs> wow, look at all these Eternus. We do have hammers, so uh, what happened here? Did I influence the meta? <laughs> Did I somehow influence the meta? Because from my thumbnails, the thumbnails go live before this tournament goes live, so I don't know. Lots of Eternus players. There's also a Colossal uh, sneaked in here, so hopefully... I don't know which uh, opponent he is up against. <laughs> There's that one prize whimsy cut. Victinis, we slapped those around already. Or Beetle. Yeah. There's also four Galarian Zigzagoons for that matchup. You can go for Dread End and four Pings to snap a one head KO and Or Beetle. You just need to not one head KO. Uh, first, what do you need to do is like one head KO a Snorlax. Then you need to uh, gust after an Or Beetle that hasn't evolved just yet, and then you do go for Zigzagoon Pings and Dread End on Or Beetle. Or Beetle is also a deck we should still check out here. Sophie's playing Blount, okay. Axel is playing weird stuff, <laughs> I don't know. Lots of uh, Belgian people in here, so that's nice to see. What else? Mad Party. Interesting things. Mewtwo's, Blount, Mad Party. I think the meta is quite diverse, if I have to say. So we have, let's just count some decks, shall we? First of all, we have Picaron, ADP, Tempo Dart, aka Crystophalon. We have Eternatus, we have uh, Inteleon, Lapras, Whimsicott, Colossal, Luke Metal, uh, Corvi Knight, Teeny V Max. Uh, <laughs> we have Mad Party, we have Mewtwo with Rowlet and Exeggutor, we have Decidueye, we have uh, Ore Beetle, we have Spirit Tomb, we have Rapid Strike Urshifu, we have Single Strike Urshifu. So many variations possible. We have Sand Scorch V Max, we have so many decks in the format right now. I, I do love the fact that almost everything is, fl is playable, every single type. Is kind of playable right now. Other other decks, actually, our other types are more preferred than other ones. So, for instance, fire is just broken thanks to welder. But other than that, like you can play every single type. So that is the meta. And if we check out the meta uh, meta game right now, uh, what is the most played deck? Eternus. Well, that's very funky. Twelve people playing Eternus. There's only four people playing Rapid Strike Urshi. So uh, our match. Oh, also four people playing Luke Metal. Don't want to see any of those, to be honest. No one wanna see any of those. Those are scary <laughs> scary things to see. Six rounds of Swiss. Okay, thank you Arna for letting me know. I actually don't have uh, the time to check out like the Discord and the Messenger group and the live chat and <laughs> everything. Can you show the deck list? Of course. That's what I'm doing here. If you want to be playing um, Eternatus in this modern age, I think 
uh, the list that I'm showcasing right now is very good. We have one, yeah, also I do love the attack on Eveltal. Discarding a special energy could be huge in specific matchups. For instance, you can slow them down. Although I would rather attach to Eternatus, it could be a nice way to stall a little bit. So let's, let's say in instances you can just go for a reset stamp, then uh, go for Balsa's orders and use the derail attack to get rid of a special energy. So you have one more turn to just find yourself Eternatus VMAX or whatever. Reset stamps, very good. Power plants and reset stamps, I love them. Yeah, oh, everybody like, are you gonna stream on Twitch? Uh, I'm just gonna mainly stick on YouTube for now. I think that's working out pretty well. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle with Eternatus. It was a lot of fun. It's a great deck. It's a, a huge beat stick for, for all we uh, yeah, know. So people joining into the stream right now. Hello, have a good night. That Eveltal is good. Free retreat cost and a derail attack. It's insane, yeah. And also, I've also won games by using the attack Clutch. <laughs> clutch means that uh, the opponent cannot retreat during their next turn. Sometimes if they're all out of switches, you can boss something and just pass. Actually not pass, you could go Clutch and sometimes you can deck people out with this. Yeah, thanks Rowan for letting people know the 12 hour live stream will happen as soon as we hit 30,000 subscribers. So uh, it's very, very close for, for definitely, uh, I see that in the near future. And there's only two people uh, still playing, so the next round will start very shortly. Also, now that I think about it, the Weegard energies are also very good against Colossal, by the way. Yeah. Tampa's Art still a decent deck? Yes, it is still a decent deck. Matt 86. Definitely play it. The artwork of that Eveltal is also crazy. Look at it. The Pokemon of Death. It also says here, when its life comes to an end, it absorbs the life energy of every every living thing and turns it into a cocoon. What? Mm. Uh, the subscriber count is on the screen right now and it also gets updated live. So uh, just as you guys know, if you want to be subscribing, if you want to see daily Pokemon TCG content, competitive TCG content, I should say, that's the place to do it. I think in the last stream we actually got like 40 subscribers, so that was pretty pretty nice. I, I think we were playing Mad Party then, now we're playing Eternatus. We're gonna actually play a little bit of everything, just so I know how every specific deck works. And uh, that's something I always recommend people to do. Just play with every single deck out there so you know what the weaknesses is. In this specific case, if we go first and they have if they have Crushing Hammers, that is our weakness. Stuff like Rapid Strike Urshifu using a Giratina to get rid of the Weak Guard energy, that is a weakness. Uh, yeah, what else could be a weakness? <laughs> the Galarian Zapdos in the next set, slapping this deck instantly out of existence. Or should I think about that? Let's say, if Aurora Energy is still around, you instantly have an answer against Eternus, but when Aurora Energy rotates, Eternus might see, uh, yeah, itself back on the top, top tables once again, because it's easy to do. And also, now that I think about it, with the Galarian Zigzagoon Pings, you hit to 310. If that is not the case, you can go for uh, the... Um, Toxic Croak line with Galarian Slowbro, all those cards still uh, remain after rotation, so you can go for that strategy as well. I think Eternus has some good things going for it. I know there's a lot of fighting types out there. If you played uh, Pokemon Y, you would have understood that description. Yeah, I've, I've played both. I have actually played every single Pokemon game. I actually have a video up on my channel where I showcase all my Pokemon uh, games, like main series games. And also, I'm thinking about making a pure Galarian Zapdos deck uh, that actually utilizes uh, that item card that lets uh, yeah uh, you put stuff from the discard pile onto your opponent's bench in combination with the tool card allowing the Galarian Zapdos to uh, get more buff. I think it's 50 buff or 30 buff. Anyhow, we're going to be very tanky with stone fighting energies. And that's going to be a cool deck because every single time you can just slide for huge damage, the opponent will have stuff on their bench, V Pokemon for that matter, because of the item card. I think it's the whistle or something, target whistle. Is that that? <laughs> yeah, Eternus will not go away just yet, even though there's fighting types available. I also think that Rapid Strike Urshifu becomes insane after rotation, utterly insane. Okay, the next round is up. Let's see, we are up against Eternatus. Eternatus versus Eternus. Well, that that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, what are the chances, right? <laughs> there were 12 people playing, so we probably would have slapped at least one of these. Actually hit one of these. Eternus VMAX versus Eternus VMAX. So 
let's get the show on the row. He's playing power plant, he's playing swell, he's playing hammers. This is gonna be the the battle of the hammers. <laughs> Poof! We lost the coin flip. That's bad. That is bad. Okay. This is what we're starting with. Well, well, well. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, I need to block my hand. Thanks for letting me know. This yeah, he knows my opening hand. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. He's gonna go second. Is that so? Well, plant. Attachment. Communication. Hmm. Another Eternus. Should we get two? Should we get one? I don't think he's gonna be able to one-hit KO it, right? Although getting two Eternus set up is definitely the dream. Power Salary does an awesome move. Spiritomb can poke a little bit. Let's see here. We need to get a lot of Pokemon into play while sp slapping huge damage. Hmm. Interesting things. For now, let's just get the Spirit Tomb so we can build up some spite instantly. Let's go for Crobat. Okay. Another Eternus. So double Eternus right over here. Building spite. And that's all we were able to do. Hey ho! That's all we were able to do. And there's the boss's orders! Oh no! The boss's orders on the first turn. Wow. This guy. Building spite. Well, at least this guy can get knocked out by Spirit Tomb if we find ourselves the Spirit Tomb. Actually, gonna go for Quick Bolt the boss. Although, I do would appreciate a boss's orders right now to knock out his Eternus. Getting this little KO is also pretty damn nice. Let's get a Crobat for now. Communication. Getting that Crobat back in. Getting Eternus V freaking max. There we go. Eternus V Max is here to slap huge damage. Do we go? I think we will draw into a Pokemon. Actually, to uh, some stuff. We have to switch here to Galarian Zigzag Ping. Go for a Crobat, then go for a Research. Might even get everything we need, by the way, from this Crobat. Switch. We whiffed out on energy, otherwise that Eternus would have been knocked out already. Hmm, do we slap down another Eternus? I think the Galarian Zigzags might become a little bit better than this one. Oh well, let's just go for it. <laughs> let's just go for it. Need to find that energy hint anyhow. Attachment. Eternus VMAX number two. I think I'm gonna wait with that. Retreat! Let's go, Dreaden! Let's see what he top decks. Ta -ta. There he has the Eternus VMAX, okay. Attachment, so it's gonna be poking, striking blows against each other. Only 30 damage. I've never seen that weak of an Eternus attack. Alright, so our Eternus gets some hype here. So that's what happens if you're playing the other version here. Building Spite. We're not gonna go overboard, just gonna poke damage with the Dread End. That's all we need to do here. And Spirit Tomb can finish this guy off. No problems asked. Spirit Tomb with Galarian Zigzag. So even if the hammers work out for him, they don't. Well, Bone is pretty sad about this. 
Ah. Well played. You have a good deck. Oof. Well, I'll take this W and gladly take it. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes best of one treats us right. Oh wow, we got like uh, a lot of subscribers thanks to that little uh, celebration here. So uh, woohoo, 22 more have arrived. We are very close. So uh, that deserves some party and celebration. We got like seven subscribers instantly. I don't know what, what happened here. So uh, if you guys are, are having friends that are playing the Pokemon TCG competitively, go spread around the channel. We're close at reaching 30,000 subscribers. And also we are doing pretty well in this little tournament here. Current sub count. Score is 3-0. I like it. So we slapped an Eternus into Oblivion. He was playing the one with Toxicroak and, and Garbodor, so that's very clunky. I do suggest if you go for the Poison build, you actually go for Galarian Slowbro V. I know it's another two prizer on your bench, but your bench is filled up with two prizers anyhow, thanks to Crobat. So don't worry about that at all. It's the, it's the better solution. Play Dark City as well. Don't play Power Plant and a combination of Swell. Just go for one thing. Either you go for like one or two Swells, or you go for like two or three Power Plants. Don't mix, blend them in. Okay. How was that? How was that? Cool, 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 cool. We're going strong with Eternatus. That's what the thumbnail says, right? <laughs> we uh, are undefeated right now. I don't know why. Uh... Yeah. With the Garbodor, you're also able to poison, I think. Yeah, you definitely have to go for Galarian, Galarian Slowbro. That's the way to go. And because this is going so well, I'm going to be giving away a Shining Coats. Yeah, <laughs> I always say a Shining Coats. Uh, some more TCGO codes, and then uh, there's gonna be two of them on screen very shortly. Two Shining Fates codes. So that's awesome, right? Just got to put them down a little bit nicely. Ta -da! Here they are. So uh, two Shining Fates codes. Let me know if you pulled any awesome shinies. Uh, hi, uh, Mr. N. PD. Thanks for joining the stream. We're three zero right now with Eternus. We just smacked an Eternus into Oblivion. And uh, we give away some codes here while we wait out. And uh, also, I think we have some packs to open up. Maybe we can pull something fancy. I think we've pulled like great things already on streams like these. If you guys enjoy the content, be sure to let me know by destroying that like button. Helps out the channel in many ways. Many ways. More ways than you possibly think. And there are still a lot of people playing, of course, because we are technically like donk the opponent. So we didn't take all of our prize cards, but opponent didn't have any other basics that's what I say <laughs> open locked packs they're busted hmm. Sam Silver hi thanks for joining again uh, well, look at this if you ever uh, have some locked packs open them up right now look at this last time we gotten also like three V's it's crazy Corby Knight will Corby Knight get better that's the question of the day. Will Corby Knight get better? I know Cheryl is busted. Cheryl and Bronzong, but I think on the other hand, I think Orbeetle is better than Corby Knight to uh, get a use out of Cheryl. But on the other hand, Fire will lose Wilder in about four months. So Wilder will disappear. And we also have Metal Coating Energies, not that that has been an issue, but sometimes you do get dunked with your Corby Knight V. Or your Zation or your Samazenta, you just poof, heat ran or whatever, or double blaze. Yeah, I was talking about Cheryl here. Probably one of my favorite cards to come out of battle styles. I, I think I pulled the Rainbow Rare in the pre release kit once. I was very happy about that. <laughs> Greetings from Memphis. Memphis in the house. Where are you guys from? Let me know. I want to uh, know where you guys are from. That's something I always love to see when the streams are alive. Ta ta. While we waited out, let's play some uh, Sandaconda. That's what I love doing here. Playing it on the Versus Ladder. Where's the Sandaconda, by the way? So many decks that are playable. It's insane. Da, 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 da. Spirit Tomb, Single Strike. Sandaconda, let's go. Okay, there's still 30 people playing, so... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Fighting type deck. We are also a fighting type deck. People from the UK. I got Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max and two Rapid Strike Urshifu Vs from Lock Packs. They're OP. They're definitely bonkers. And thanks, Arna. Yeah, we're gonna keep going strong. Hopefully, we will see some favorable matchups because 
all the matchups we were up against are like 50-50 or below. Like Victini VMAX typically should win against us, but because we played that out perfectly with our reset stamp, we got the upper hand. Also, he started with Mew too, so little bit of luck. Little bit. Okay, let's get this party started. Perfect hand. I have to say, I have to say this is a perfect hand. Let's do this. Okay, this is a meme deck, by the way. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Whoa, he didn't do a lot, to be honest. Yeah, let's leave those TCGO codes up on screen for a little bit longer. Lovable, let's see here. What are we able to find? Yeah, they're all in, in there. That's pretty damn nice. This one, I don't think, maybe he's gonna Marnius, maybe he doesn't. But maybe we wait with the Poke Gears because we have everything in hand. But if we use green right now, we thin out the deck and maximize our chances of getting all the good stuff. Interesting stuff for sure. Okay, there's a green. I think we only need one green to be honest. So let's slap this down. Let's slap this down. Let's attach on this guy so we can call for family later. Yeah, probably gonna have to need or ordinary rot if he does some funky stuff. So I think I will take these for now. Or maybe the Rosa. Like he's probably gonna knock something out at least. I think so. Let's take these. Let's go! Calling for the family. Ta ta ta. The family has arrived. <laughs> Mexico to Jana Baja, California. Send a warm hug. Wow, that's so nice to hear. Super friendly people on the chat right now. Oh, there's the fancy artillery. And this is how you fill your bench, by the way. Gossifler is bonkers. I expect a rapid strike energy. I expect a switch card. And I expect two of my uh, Santa Condos, actually silly cobras, to disappear here. Take my little Gossifler. Guild trust. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Yeah, we don't even need to use Ordinary Rod here, but we can, of course, use Rosa. Okay, maximizing on chance. There's no energies in the discard just yet, so that's cool. So the chances are pretty high. High from Dubai. That rhymes. <laughs> that rhymes. That definitely rhymes. Okay, 14 people still playing. Let's go with this guy. Also, remember Sand Attack from the last stream? Attachment there. Do we go for Pokegear or Rosa? Rosa it is. Sandaconda and Evolution Incense. And no energies because I don't want minimum damage output. I want maximum damage output. Let's go Evolution Incense, getting ourselves another Sanda freaking Conda. My Sandaconda don't. There they go. Might as well play the Pokegear right now so we don't draw into this Rosa. Are you guys? Are you guys ready? From Antwerp, Waddle Boy. Cool. Nice to hear that. You guys ready? It's time for our classical favorite stuff. Mm, let's Run. do this. Bah! <laughs> that was pretty mediocre. Ah, uh, I played that special effect, but it didn't work out. We can go for the two shot though. <laughs> At least we can go for the two shot. He can actually get rid of. If he's playing Galarian Zigzagoon, he can get rid of two of them. But at least one Sunacon is gonna be ready to strike. Unless he has two Galarian Zigzagoons and a scoop on that. Then we will be sorry. Okay. Yeah. 29,922 is the, the number right now. Okay, he didn't do <laughs> they just could see. We got a victory with Sanda freaking Kanda. That's why we do it. We got a tournament ticket. Also, in seven days, yeah, it sounded like that horror movie of, of a scary movie. Seven days. Yeah, in seven days, there will be the opening of the one and only Players' Cup 4, and uh, we're gonna be grinding that out as well. I don't know if I'm gonna live stream my matches. Maybe I do, because I do have the hand block. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we can do that. Like, grinding uh, the Players' Cup tournaments. That's awesome. Because we will need around, like... 95 reputation points. Hey, hi, I'm from the tournament. Your deck seems really nice, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ralph. <laughs> so we won with Santa Conda. The next round will start in, I think, yeah, 
yeah, I would say about five minutes. Hello, I'm new, Aiden's live cam. Be sure to check out Pokemon uh, TCG Online. It's the perfect platform playing the Pokemon trading card game. And if you're looking for codes to actually get some new decks or cards, you can go to potownstore.com. And you can, of course, use the one and only coupon code ZADOISTCG for 5% of your next order. That's five freaking percent, so uh, that's awesome. Wanna trade? I actually don't need anything. <laughs> I'll be in the stream as well. Okay. So yeah, I don't need anything. I don't, uh, I actually have almost all cards available. I actually had to like uh, get lots of codes to get all these decks set up, but I think I have most decks set up. Also want to be checking out this uh, funky list again. Well, where was it? Blacephalon with Salazzle. Where was it? We're going to be trying that out in the, the next round, in between rounds. So we have Blacephalon Salazzle. Cool deck, right? <laughs> yeah, you sub, like, and turn the notification on. That's pretty nice to hear. You're going to get daily Pokemon TCG content. So uh, you're going to get better in no time. You're gonna get better in no time and you can also uh, see a lot of these streams learn a lot from them see my i actually try to give uh, some good advice here and there and we actually gained two more subscribers dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Woo! two more have been joined to the lightning squad and the next round will start very shortly there's four people still playing i don't see any stall decks at least i don't think so like Excadrill hand lock control decks. <laughs> yeah, we're first seed right now. Woohoo! How cool is that? Hand control decks. We don't see any of them, so we should be good. We should be good. So, uh, what do you think about the Blacephalon with uh, Salazzo? We are going to try that out between rounds very shortly. And the next round will start <laughs> in about like one or two minutes, which is awesome. Uh, for new people, I can recommend either you can play this. It's a very, very cheap deck because the Dennis you can get them with the trainer toolkit. This is Mad Party. This is the deck we played Sunday in the uh, GG Tour Tournament. Or was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday, right? <laughs> the GG Tour Tournament. Unfortunately, we hit Orbital. <laughs> Hi from France. Thanks, Brandon, for joining. Uh, control. No, Arne. Don't get the crazy idea. What is Control going to lose? I'm gonna actually going to be very excited to make decks about post-rotation. So uh, you guys are gonna get everything. We're gonna be going through my personal binder and seeing which trainer cards rotate. We're gonna be talking about <laughs> Guilty Pleasure Control. We're gonna be talking about which decks are gonna be better uh, after rotation, which decks completely disappear. And for the people that don't know what rotation is, it actually means that in August, there's gonna be four sets leaving us, or five if you count the mini sets. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be Unbroken Bonds. Yeah, first up, Team Up, then Unbroken Bonds, then Unified Minds and Cosmic Eclipse. And I think there's also a mini set between that. Anyhow, those set gets rotated out. <laughs> and uh, that means you can no longer play ADP. You can no longer play Reshazard. You can no longer play Mewtwo. That means people will stick to Zations. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that format. I think Orbeetle becomes very strong after rotation. Very, very strong. And the reason for that is because of the fact that Welder rotates. And with Welder gone, that means Orbeetle can just go crazy and it's uh, another Eternatus mirror match. Four Galarian Zigzags, two Eveltal, Hammers, Phoebe, and Darkness Energies. Okay. Here we have them. Eternatus mirror match. This is uh, two Eternatus on the first seat. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this. So as I was saying, I think Orbital becomes very strong. He's calling the coin flip. I won the coin flip. Want to go first or second? Do you want to go first? Or do we go, go second? So we have hammers. Would you like to go first? If we go with yes, if he has a hammer, it's game over. Mm, I think I'm going to go second. I'm not completely sure that is the right way, but... Uh, We'll see how it goes. All right. There's a great ball coming. I, 
think that was the right play, right? Going second with Eternus. I think so. Belgium versus Belgium on table one. Ooh, there we go. There are some good things and bad things to see about this situation. Belgium versus Belgium. Okay, how do we do this? There's a quick bit coming. Gets rid of the zigzag. Interestingly enough, he has Eternus V. He has Eternus V. Also has that attachment. We need to dig for the one and only crushing hammers. That's what we need to do. And we need to land them as well. We need to land them successfully. Okay, first off, great ball. Finding ourselves a good classic Eveltal. That's not too bad. This one. Touch of the turn here. Communication. I think I will use communication again and actually try to draw a lot of cards. Or do we wait? We can still find more stuff, right? Do we wait? We still have access to uh, quick balls, communications, all that good stuff. I think a second copy of Eternity is not a bad idea, to be honest. Yeah, it's not a bad idea at all. Yeah, I really want to be finding those hammers, so <laughs> let's just go for it. Let's go. Interesting things. Let's try to find some more stuff here in Galarian Zigzagoon. Here comes the stand. Here comes a stamp. <laughs> Where are the hammers, man? Zigzag pings. I'll put them down here. Ray, no hammers. No freaking hammers. That's too bad. Power accelerator, Kutchaka. Yeah, we uh, <laughs> didn't find our crushing hammers. So I am very, very scared right now. Instantly scared. Hammers! <sighs> wow, this guy. <laughs> this guy is really messing with me, is he? No, I'm not hacking. Maybe that's how he's so good. <laughs> Hilarious, hilarious. Okay, there's an Eternatus. Where do you guys find tournaments to play? You can just go to play.limitlesstcg.com, the best place. A crushing hammer. Oh no, that, that one hurt really bad. That one was very powerful. That's a powerful, powerful, oh man. Okay. Thinking long and hard about this scenario. Hmm. Quick ball. Okay, let's calculate the damage output. Yeah, this is best of one. So the problem with this is that the hammers are OP. <laughs> Oh god. 150. At least we survived this hit, but still hammers. We have our own fair of hammers to deal with, by the way. We can poke a little bit of damage, which is totally irrelevant. This Eternus V Max. Another Eternus and uh yeah, Research or Marnie. What do you prefer? I need to find my hammers. This is a hammer war. This has turned itself into a hammer war. And we are not finding our hammers, are we? Alright, folks. Switching to this guy. What else? What else? Switching to this guy.
Let's go. <laughs> Where are the freaking hammers, man? Zigzag pings. We can't find hammers, folks. It's over. <laughs> we actually have gone through half of our deck without finding hammers. And now it's too late because the opponent had two crushing hammer heads. And there's no way to come back from that. Okay. Ooh, boss? Bossing Eternus again. So, yeah, this is turning into quite the predicament. Is it? Attachment here, poking damage. I guess so. Oh, come on, hammers. Where the freaking hell are the hammers? Yeah, we have one, but it's not going to be doing too much here. Maybe he whiffs out on energy, by the way. Only two cards in hand. Yeah, maybe. We can have some hope, right? Can we? Galarian Zigzagoon Ping. Poof. Activate the Dreadant. Okay. Okay, he did have another energy. And a research on top of that. Oh, wow, that's a crazy. That is utterly crazy. Well, this guy can be a cheeky prize card for us. Oh boy. How do we do this? Yeah, this is uh, quite difficult. That is for sure. His hammers were successful, so uh, we were one. <laughs> we are in a disadvantage right now, I know. Let's see here. Switches. We still have two hammers left. You never know when they hit successfully. Yeah, we lost thanks to hammers. I think so. I really think so. Okay, there's the dread and our Eternatus unfortunately goes down. <sighs> I think this is going to be, yeah, he has like the bazillion card hand. That's crazy. How to do this, right? Communication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can have this Galarian Zigzagoon ping. This guy will go down for sure. We still we don't have any darkness energies left. So uh, yeah, we will need to use this first and get something from the prize cards. Dang, da -dang. Come on. <laughs> There's our good friend Spirit Tomb. I think there's a one energy price, so uh how to do this? 30 damage with the derail. Not gonna be doing too much. Probably has switch outs. Probably has switch outs. Yeah, these are all... Let's just go for this guy. <laughs> yeah, there's a um, huge problems here. Where are our hammers? Switch, okay. He does have the switch. 
attachment. Okay, if he has at least one boss, he wins the game. There's two of them in the discard pile. He is playing four, four copies of boss. Well, wow. this is as good as over. Hi, Pika Mom. Thanks for uh, joining again. We are now in a mirror match where Crushing Hammers, <laughs> where Crushing Hammers is really wrecking us. Dreaden, yeah, if he has one boss, he wins. We don't have a pivot anymore. Don't have a pivot anymore. This one. Don't want to be facing this fella. A rope. Who will he give us? Yeah, this is best of one, unfortunately. And uh, a mirror match best of one is not the perfect thing, that's for sure. We got an Eveltal, well, that's pretty obvious. Research! Well, we have a hammer. That's something we have. Let's get rid of the energy on this guy. We have another Eternus V Max. And yeah, we just have to wait it out. Probably in that hand he has boss because he's playing four copies of boss. Yeah. Well played. Yeah, he was just better with his hammers. He was better with the hammers. Too bad. That is too bad. Well, we changed the score from uh, three wins. Three one is also not too bad. I think there's six rounds in total. Oh boy, yeah. What happened there? Uh, crushing hammer. I think going second was the best play though, but his hammers were better than mine. His better, his hammers were better than mine. That's for sure. And uh, three more subscribers have entered the Lightning Squad. Three more. So uh, we are very close of reaching 30,000 subscribers, you fellas. I don't even, I, maybe we can even do it in this stream. You never know. Is Urshifu meta right now? Yeah, Rapid Strike Urshifu is definitely meta. Probably like one of the best decks, if not the best deck right now. We are playing Eternus just because I want to have some Eternus action. Uh, because I'm afraid that Eternus will get lower down in play. Thanks to a lot of cards like Galarian Zabdos V. There is uh, a new supporter that allows us to uh, trim the, the the deck from your opponent's bench. Actually, to trim the opponent's bench, yeah, that's what I was saying. Let's see, check out the standings real quick. Double Eternus, yeah. There's an Orbeetle also climbing its way up. A couple of fire decks as well. With Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Victini, Victini V Max. Yeah, lots of Victini V Maxes here. Ugh, don't want to see any of those. But we'll see. We're gonna check out the standings uh, with you guys very quickly. I'm actually gonna be uh, gone for like one minute. I'll be back very shortly. Hello everybody, we are back. We are waiting for the last rounds to start. There's two more rounds. Hopefully we will be up against something favorable. We have seen not too much variety. We've seen a lot of Victini, so hopefully that will not continue that streak. We've already seen two of them, so we'll see how that goes. Let's check out the standings, shall we? 
Okay, what can we see? What can we see? Maybe we should just uh, zoom in a little bit so you guys can follow along. Okay, what can we see? Eternity's on top. They're at 4 0 right now, crazy. Fictinis. There's also a 3 1. There's an, also an orbital at 3 1. Santa Scourge, Rapid Track, Urshiel 3 1. Don't want to see that. Yeah, <laughs> Sophie's climbing her way back up again. 2 1 1. Spiritomb. Windsy cart. We'll see what we're up against, by the way. We need to wait for eight people. That's okay. We have time, right? We have time. And now, while we wait it out, let's give away another TCGO code. And the code today will be another Shining Fates, because Shining Fates is actually a pretty damn awesome set if you're looking for um, Shinings. Shining Pokemon of specific cards. There's also like that fancy Eternatus cards in that set. Eight more people playing, okay. I need Crobat or Delaney, anyone? Yeah, you can just um, go to Podown Store, get the Trainer Toolkit, I think they still have it available. I have to check real quick, just for you guys, I'm gonna check it out, podownstore.com and see what they still have available. Because the Trainer Toolkit was super duper damn popular. Let's see here, Trainer Toolkit. Yeah, the Trainer Toolkit is still available. I think that is the best way to get into the Pokemon TCG. <laughs> Wait, Metachamp. Metachamp TCG? Watching the stream? Is he? I have to really check. There's a lot of people entering the live stream right now, which is pretty damn nice. Uh, there's still the best rounds to come where everything's on the line. We cannot afford to lose. We cannot afford to lose because we need to get into that top eight. We really need to do this. It's destiny. We were playing out Eternals a little bit and we were waiting for some favorable matchups. Unfortunately, we get some uh, like two Eternals and two Victini. That's that's not variety. That's the same thing over and over again. Okay, and how many rounds is this tournament? Uh, Santi asks, that's six rounds. That means there's two more rounds left and uh, then there's gonna be the next phase. And next phase, I'm gonna check that out real quick. Okay, details. The next phase will then be the top eight, best of three, single elimination. Uh-oh, yeah, single elimination. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Also, what seems to be the most popular deck right now? ADPization? Imagine if we played ADPization. What if we've gotten a good shot? We were up against Eternus and Victini, so. Hmm. Everything with Wilder is also scary. And yeah. Against Eternus, I hope we would have seen our crushing hammers, but we didn't. So that mirror match ended like him, him using crushing hammer, crushing hammer, heads, heads, and we were like, crushing hammer fails. Like, no, no. <laughs> also, we did use power accelerator. We did the exact same thing that you have to do in a mirror match. Just go second, go for power accelerator, but he has better luck with crushing hammers. Two more people still playing, so. Uh, Also, uh, we, instead of running like four copies of boss, we split it around to three copies of boss and an escape rope. <laughs> I love escape rope when the opponent least expects it, so that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, it's about two, mi two more minutes left on the clock for us for our next round, I think. No more packs, so we can all like open packs in the meanwhile. We can still have some in-between rounds, like that. the something we did with the Santa Kamba. We're gonna do that if we are winning quickly the following game. This is the list. It's also in the description below. You can copy, paste it, and try it out for yourself. This is the Eternus list I'm rocking with right now. So that's with lots of communication, lots of Great Ball, lots, lots of Quick Ball, and the Zigzags. Helping out very much against Victini VMAX, because if you slap all of them down, you can get a one-hit KO on the Victini VMAX. That's cool. Then you just have to uh, poke a Volcanion or whatever, or uh, slap down on uh, the Danny GX, which is possible. And you always have to go second. Uh, yeah, first against the Victini VMAX. In specific matches you want to go first, and other matches you want to go second. Uh, this list is very great and best of one, because if you go second, you can go for Power Accelerator. If you can go, if you go first, you can have the first turn attachment of the turn and go for Crobat and fill up your bench already. So lots of things to love about this list. 
Also, if you guys are enjoying the live streams that I'm putting out, they're almost every single Monday on 7 p.m. Central Europe time, so uh, don't miss out. And also, when we hit 12,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a very huge, big 12-hour live stream with huge giveaways, Q and A's, and all that magical stuff. So it's gonna be awesome. You don't want to miss that. It's gonna be an entire day, probably a Saturday or a Sunday, probably Saturday, so the people can enjoy it a little longer. Okay. Uh, as for the sub count right now, they are <laughs> still going up. It's like 29,927. That's crazy. That's utterly crazy. Yeah, and the last match is almost concluded. Almost. Whoever got the Shining Fates back? What did you get? What did you get? Let me know. Did you get Charizard VMAX? Okay. Come on. Yeah, the matches have been concluded. So, next round. Who will we be up against? Give us a favorable matchup. Please. Favorable matchup. That's all we ask. Give us something we can one-shot. One-shot. Tag teams. Give us tag teams. Give us the tag teams we desire. <laughs> or maybe... Yeah, what else is he turned as good against? Like, Blanc, where he can power plant stamp. Sounds pretty good. Okay, we're up against Jonathan and he is playing Mewtwo. Yeah, that's cool. That's what I wanted. So maybe it's gonna go okay. Let's hope so. Our opponent is playing Mewtwo Welder. Eternatus. Let's freaking do this. Hand block, activate. <clears throat> okay. He declined our challenge, but there's no escape right now. Eternus VMAX, activate. Declined, will it? Do you guys want to see what he's playing with? Yeah, he's playing just, uh, he has Heat Ren GX, four copies of Giant freaking hard. Well, that's probably to counter power plants and stuff. Declined instantly, well. He's not ready, is he? Maybe he's scouting my deck. <laughs> Whatever is the case, we already have our hand block accumulated. So we are, uh, maybe he's waiting for the rounds, for the timer to start. But the timer has already started, so uh, let's just go, man. It's best of one. No need to stall things out. And we're at a couple of tree prizers over here. A couple of tree prizers. What else? He's playing ropes. He's playing... Lots of tag teams, though. He's playing lots of tag teams. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this. What is what is he gonna go with? All right. Also, uh, Rowan is uh, keeping you guys in check, so uh, no, don't do not tri triple send. <laughs> All right, we won the coin flip. You want to go first, then they can welder. I think I want to go second. But power accelerator, then they can knock us out. I think uh, maybe going first, they can welder and just go for the double blades. We'll see how it is, though. Oh boy. Let's freaking do this. Hmm. <laughs> Let's just go, stamp. Uh, eh. Check it out. Check it out, fellas. Seven card hand. The hunt is on. <laughs> oh man, does that really happen to us? Jirachi. 
a rope. Do not hit your stuff, man. Do not hit your stuff. We also didn't get like an attach of turn, so it's bad either way. Ah. The Dene GX. Giant heart as well. <laughs> what is this man keep us alive whiff 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 please <laughs> hello deadwing thanks for joining today Let's, look, this is what we're dealing with. He has the welder. Well, it's game over. Welder onto the Mewtwo. Maybe he waves on energy. He did get rid of like, okay. Scoop up net. Okay, we just get down here. Sad. Super duper sad. <laughs> we can get donked in best of one. That's true. Ah, oh, man. Started off so strong, but then this happens. We have so many basics, we have so many quick balls, so many communications, and we still get dunked by a Wilder deck. Still get dunked by a Wilder deck. If we would have gone second, he would have been able to uh, go for the Flare Blitz GX and actually, or just go for Attach of Turn instantly, following turn Wildering so he can knock out one of our Pokemon. But, oh man. So bad. That is that just feels horrible when that happens. Just getting donked out of nowhere. For real, what is that? <laughs> just win 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 and then you see you're getting hammered and you're getting donked. So you gotta love best of one, right? There's one more round left. I was actually hoping to slap new twos, but no. <laughs> no. TC Joe decided you could get no basics. At least there's good news about this story and that we actually accu accumulated three more subscribers. <laughs> For you guys that are watching, you're getting the daily Pokemon TCG content. Don't want to miss it. And uh, yeah, you also see that you uh, can get dunked super duper badly. While we wait, let's try out Blasuffle and Salazzle. <clears throat> Which is a great deck, by the way. Let's check out the standings. Look at that. After like six minutes, there's already uh, 14 people done. What does that say about this format? <laughs> what does that say? Would you like to go first or second? No, I, I want to go second with this deck. Yeah, now you get a lot of basics because you're playing a different deck. You have the research. It's actually not a bad hand. Okay, A to slash in the active slot. Oh, people recognizing the background music. That's nice. Yeah, huge fan of Super Mario 64, by the way. Huge fan. I played that 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 game till that. It's crazy. Very good. <clears throat> oh, looks like we're up against ADP hammers. <laughs> My well, getting everything. My well getting everything. Well, if that's the case. Boop, boop. Holy macaroni. Let's go. <laughs> it's crazy that I started watching you like eight years ago and just got back into the TCG TCGO again last week. Glad to hear it. You have the same intro. Always feels nostalgic. <laughs> Great to hear it, Reginald Condol. So it uh, looks like we're up against ADP today uh, with our funky list. If somebody got knocked out, he's probably just gonna gust up Oricorio for all we know. Yeah, a lot of people are getting back into TCG. Does he have a switch? No, he's just stuck. He just went all out. All out with that Mawal. 
Okay, and now it's time. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, we can slap 120, right? <clears throat> we can slap damage with the Salazzle. We're not gonna do that because we don't get... Oh, come on, man. Okay, there's another research. Yeah. Do we go for the research? <clears throat> do have the Beast Bringer, so that's something I don't want to do here. There we go. Retreat. I'm actually gonna poke some damage here. This is not a bad hand. Blown. Attach. Let's go. Combustion. <laughs> this guy can attack. What? Well, what's gonna happen now? Does he have an energy? Crushing hammer! Well, have you ever? Oh boy, that's my water energy onto the Dene. Okay, this Mawa is gonna get knocked out thanks to poison damage, which is like insane. Interesting things though. Uh, first things first, Roost Reveal. Okay, there's a Welder. Okay, this is turning into an interesting approach. Welder. One, two. Okay, how much energies can we get? In total, we don't have Beast Bringer. <laughs> we can do some stuff, taking a lot of prize cards. We can actually take four prize cards if we don't knock this guy out, but we probably will do that. We're gonna be palpating the welders back there we go yeah this guy probably will not survive let's just equip this while we're at it let's go combustion 18 people still playing here's the lovable and the mew give me a mew yeah unlucky hands that's sometimes what it is on TCGO. Oh yeah, I'm getting uh, here comes the altar creation. Wow, the altar creation. Okay, first things first, communication. Let's get this back in deck. Getting ourselves another Salazzle. He still hasn't knocked out anything, which is crazy. Some level balls. You can actually draw your entire deck with this setup, by the way. One of these. And how many energy is still in here? Two crystals. Not a lot of energy left. Okay. Need to be a little bit careful. Salazzle Roast Reveal, please. Alright. Still not what we needed. Alright. 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 We can still fix this, right? Can quick ball. It's a dadane. All right, let's go for another roast reveal. We need to find our fire crystal. That's what we're looking for. Desperately looking for <laughs> energy recycler. Interesting. Fire crystal. One, two, three. We didn't find what we needed, but it's okay. I will just go after this guy because it's weak to fire. And we don't need to welder this turn, which is pretty damn awesome. Let's do this. Also, now that I think about it, I'm actually gonna slap down our winning card right now. And that's gonna be our Blown. To take care of the other fella. Let's do this. Fireball Circus, one, two, three. We're actually gonna energy recycle all the energies next turn. So this is my... Uh... Yeah, I was uh, about to like take three prize cards with the Dedane, but it's fine either way because <laughs> I actually wanna be saving on resources. You don't want to go overboard just because you uh, already have the game in hand. Here comes the ultimate ray onto the blown. So uh, it's pretty. It's as good as game since we have everything that we need. I'm actually gonna be promoting Salazzle. Also, now that I think about it, our Cremorant is in the prize cards. <laughs> it is what it is sometimes. Okay. How do we do this? I'm gonna show you. The only thing we need is like weldering onto the blown here. Maybe one energy should be sufficient. Energy recycler. There they come. Five energies. 
Ta -ta. First things first. Roast reveal. Okay, there's a crystal. That's nice. Welder time. This one, yeah, I think at this point we will need, either we can go for the Dene, but we already have energies in hand, so it's probably better just to go for the Dance of the Tribute. Whee! Yeah, there we go. The game is almost over. I think we are missing out on... Yeah, we can still Roast Reveal, so that's pretty damn nice. Giant hearts, let's get them out of there. Roast reveal, hopefully there's an energy in there. Let's go. Two energies, I think we are uh, missing out on just one energy. That's hilarious. It is hilarious. Sometimes it happens though. Fire crystal. He still doesn't have this game though, because uh, yeah, the only thing we need to do is like use the uh, smoke attack and he's done. Or just, uh, yeah, we already have Welder in hand. Doesn't matter too much. We also have Ordinary Rot, which can shuffle. <laughs> they just concede. They didn't even know what we had in hand, but they just concede. They say like, nope, this guy's crazy. There's uh, 10 more minutes left on the clock. 10 more minutes and uh, two more people have joined the lightning squad actually three in total so uh that subscriber count is getting close the, the celebration is gonna be huge people that are interested in pokemon tcg this is the channel to be, uh, that you should check out we have daily uploads we talk about all the best decks in town sometimes <laughs> we uh sorry about the dong zap i'm uh, okay also known <laughs> as a very yeah, it's a fan. We were destroyed by a fan because of the donk. Yeah, he's we was playing Mewtwo, so Welder decks typically have stuff. <laughs> I follow you since your retro wraps. Really? That's a long time ago. I tested with me when I came back in the game. Well, glad you did. We are still testing around. Look at all these good decks in the format right now. <laughs> we just won with Blacephalon and Salazzle. Oh, I don't know if I should pick that as my deck for uh, Players Cup 4. I still have so many doubts. So many doubts. These, these decks are all very good. What can we say about this list? It looks very good, right? Or is it just me? <laughs> it looks very good. You can just go for research, you can go for the Dane, you can draw cards with Orcorio. You have that one copy to over overlap Pyra Plant, you can draw cards with Salazzle. Have some lava balls thrown in here, three of them. So it's similar to like um, Frost Mod, where you add in lava balls to add consistency. I know if only Salazzle would have gotten 90 HP, it would have been way better. But it's working out this list for me. I don't know what you guys' favorite deck right, is right now. There's still two more, two more people playing, so that means the next round will start very shortly. And while we wait it out, we are gonna give away some more codes. What do we have left? Ta -da! There's another code up on screen. I think it's another Shining Fates. PTCGO code up on screen right now. Ta -da! Almost all matches have been concluded. Let's go check out the standings. What happened? Yeah, I've dropped down all the way to 12th place. How is that even possible? <laughs> Let's see. Who might we be up against? There's two Urshis in there? Ah, that's super scary, man. Please give us something favorable without the dunk. Oh, wow. Newman actually qualifies for Players' Cup 3 thanks to me. So uh, hopefully our uh, yeah daily input gave him the deck needed to win and actually qualify for Players' Cup 3. That's nice. Players' Cup 4 will start in seven days. Seven days. It's very mysterious. Seven days. <laughs> yeah you're a very honorable player but yeah sometimes you gotta dunk what you gotta dunk <laughs> that's what it is that's how you take the wins man yeah i think the last round is are up right now 
We're up against Senti. Senti. Senta Scorch freaking V Max. Let's add Legend Guy W. It's a crazy, it's a green Senti list. Interesting. We have to Marnie every single time to win here. That sounds very interesting. Let's uh, put in our hand block. Activate! Haha, <laughs> -ha, they activated our hand block. And now they added us, and it's time to rock the last round of the day. Goodbye, uh, thanks for playing uh, JKO1989. Let's get this party started. Eternus, can you give us some W's? That is the question of the day. Let's do this. Also, Arna, if you are watching, is 4-2 um, top 8? Or is it depending on uh, what the other people do? I think it's not top 8, right? I think you cannot, you can only afford to lose one. Alright, let's go! Good luck and have fun. Same. Big fan of your content. Okay, there, that deserves a hard face. Alright, we will start off with this fella. It's a spirit tune. All right. So we're up against the fan. It's always nice to see. We're up against Santi. Santi does have 310 freaking HP, which is pretty interesting. So here comes the zigzag ping. Oof. What should we do here? Poke some damage here, then attach there. Not the worst thing ever. That is not the worst thing ever, I think. Because of the fact... We could also like draw and maybe draw that one quick ball or communication so we can accelerate onto Eternus. But on the other hand... How many Switch cards is he playing? Three copies of Switch. Interesting stuff. I um, think I will risk it. Come on, Eternus! Or not. Building some spite. And despite all of that, that's what we did. It's best of one, by the way. This guy is playing a very interesting list and <laughs> getting uh, the heaps of it. There's the quick ball. Finding himself Vulcanian. There's the greens exploration. Don't see that every day. Okay, green and giant heart. Interesting. There's the giant heart, getting some energies. Switching to the Volk. And there's gonna be a flare starter going around. Okay, I see how this list works, the greens list. Getting yourself all the goodies you need. First of all, let's get rid of that. Secondly, we have no choice but to research. This one, the Raid Ball. Okay, interesting things. Mm hmm. Communication, getting this back in deck. It's time for Evelto all the shine. Switch. Yeah, let's. I don't know what he got with the green. Hmm, we're stepping into six is a little bit much, I think. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Where is the attach of turn, by the way? Building some spite over here. And despite that, nothing is happening. Hmm. 
This is not okay. This is not okay. Mm. How do we go further? Go with this. <laughs> yeah, this is turning out bad, man. And evolution and sense. And there is the Santa Scourge V Max. And a green. Okay. This is quite interesting. What is he gonna grab? A welder? Bosses orders and Marnie. High heat blast taking the KO. Alright, folks. Let's promote this one. Oh boy, how to do this? And stamp him. So his hand is gone. Building spite. Quick ball. Another one of these. Really need to be drawing our energy, by the way. <laughs> no energy still. do have this one though interesting Yeah, we really need to find that energy, unfortunately, so we have to go with this mechanic. Hammer time! My hammers do not work out, do they? If he has Welder, yeah, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be so bad. Yeah, not, not a lot we can do, man. Our hand doesn't allow it. Our hand doesn't allow it. Hmm. Strange list, but we are whiffing out on uh, a lot of things. I uh, eat blast. Yeah, they they go quickly. All right, attach. I'm not gonna. S Tam just yet. Marnie time. Communication. This goes back. This guy has 10 damage. We will never get there.
Hammers. This is a pretty tense, pretty tense indeed. <clears throat> Attach him onto the Santee, quick ball again. A Vulcanian number two arrives, and a Marnie. Max Santi Freak Inferno Dread and Savage, I know the draws have not gone our way. G Max Santi Freaking Inferno. Perpum. Nothing we can do here, unfortunately. Yeah, this is pretty much game because he has an attack already. This is our hand, by the way. Yeah, we can stamp him to one, but we don't have a Darkness energy. They are not popping up at all. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just well played. Nothing we can do here. Might as well take down that Senti with us. <laughs> yeah, nothing we can do. Could have stamped him to one card, but we don't have the... Uh, this guy already has an energy attached, so uh, if he didn't, if we dropped that crushing hammer or something, then could have been, done something. But right now, you have a good deck. Yeah, that's the rest of Eternus, unfortunately. That is the end of Eternus. Yeah, there is the energy we needed. Or, and our last boss was priced as well, so. Too bad. I actually sacrificed two of my two prizes, so we could have stamped into one card, but no, it didn't work our way. And uh, Sun Scorch beat Eternus. So uh, it was 3 3, pretty average tournament, I should say. Hopefully, you guys still had a lot of fun. I know uh, we were practicing a little bit with Eternus just to see how good it actually can be. We whiffed out on all the uh, Urshifus, by the way, and also the sub count still has gone up a little bit more. 29,932. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, run through of the tournament. Uh, we could have done better. We, we went really strong, but then fizzled out thanks to some bad draws and crushing hammers. Sometimes that happens in best of one, but anyhow, I wish you all a very rest, yeah, very well, nice rest of your day. And thank you for joining today. You can check out potownstore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Use the coupon code ZABDOSTCG for 5% off. And uh, yeah, you can get yourself Eternus codes, Dracapult codes, uh, League Battle Deck codes, maybe uh, Crowback codes, everything you might need, 5% off. And also go check out cardmarket.com, the best place to get yourself some physical product. If you're a European player, you should definitely check it out. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe, which is totally awesome. Anyhow, uh, I'll probably see you guys uh, for the next live stream. Uh, probably going to be another tournament. Uh, if we hit 30,000 subscribers, there's going to be a big 
12 hour special live stream. So be sure to uh, be on the horizon on my YouTube channel, maybe on your homepage, there's gonna be a date when that specific live stream will happen. And uh, yeah, thanks to Arna and Sophie for uh, yeah, organizing this stream once again. I had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it didn't work out uh, with Eternus, but uh, we're gonna do our best to play with more decks uh, than ever before and uh, just keep, keep you guys posted about what is good. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Pokemon TCG Madness. Thank you again. Also, if you're re-watching this and if you are uh, yeah, a new watcher, be sure to subscribe so you don't ever miss any future uploads. Anyhow, I wish you all uh, the, the best and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace!